Hi everybody, it's Claire here with a project that I've made from the Communique Collection by Graphic 45. Beautiful papers. Um, it's one of their older collections and they are really, really sumptuous papers with the reds, creams and blacks and fantastic to work with. And what I've made out of the collection is a correspondence case. It's 11 by 8 chipboard cover. Let's just show you the sides and the and the back. All covered in, in the one paper and then the spine is embossed with one of the Sizzix embossing folders. Um, I think it's Baroque and then just highlighted with some gold cosmic shimmer dust. Um, I've used for the frame on the front, one of the new Sizzix dies. This is one of the framelits dies. I'm not sure if it's available in all countries, but certainly it was released in the UK. And I've cut the oval frame out from it and also the cream frame here. Um, the frame, the black frame, I've embossed with black embossing enamel. And I've also run round the um, paper on the front here just with a little bit of embossing ink and then just a sprinkling of embossing powder just to give it um, a black edge and then down here I've gone over the word telegram with glossy accents just to shine it up and also just put a little bit of detail on the hat of the lady here in the middle of the frame. I've used one of the ornate door plates the Graphic 45 staples and a button here as the closure and May Art's ribbon. Really lovely black um, opaque and shiny matte ribbon. And the closure works like this. The button comes out um, that slips underneath the doorknob. There's a magnet in there underneath those buttons. And then it just loops through a loop that's held on by the door plate at the back of the album and then it opens up. I've kept the inside page quite simple. Um, I love this hand here uh, but what I have done is just highlighted the pen with glossy accents just to make it stand out and also the um, postmark here as well and the lines either side. I've also got glossy accents on them. And then all I did to this piece of paper that um, covers this page is cut two slots. Let's just take these out. Across the top there's two letters down here um, and then I've just punched holes either side, backed them with some black card to make pockets and that element from the paper slides in and also two of these little envelopes these are the staples envelopes the graphic 45 staples and there's just little tags in each one that one says top secret push that back in and that slots in there like that and this one it's just got um, a bulldog clip and two paper clips stamped onto it. And just slides in there like that. And both of those just slide in that pocket there. And then because it's a correspondence case, I've added in all sorts of things that you would um, want to have around you if you were letter writing. So these are just sticky labels um, that I've punched and stamped out and obviously some stamps, these are from the collection. And then under here I've used some want to create uh, bling just to finish the page off, but I really have kept it quite simple. So if I move it over like this, there's two pocket pages here um, made out of black 300 gram weight or GSM card. And the first one is a letter rack so from the paper I've cut out the word letters, glossed it up with glossy accents and then made a tag 
mounted it and used some of the Staples uh, ribbon, the Graphic 45 Staples ribbon, just to finish that piece off. This is a Martha Stewart punch and inside here there's two envelopes. These are supposed to be letters that um, have been received and the stamps I've used for these are the dark room door mail art stamps. I love them, absolutely love them, I use them lots. Um, dark room door stamps are just uh, great fun. So this one says airmail urgent, posty posty don't be late, oh no, posty posty don't be slow, go like Batman, go man go, at the bottom of that one. I don't think there's anything on the back of that. And then this one's got snail mail down here and then on the back mail art. And then I've used um, the black stamps from the collection just on the front there. So they slot in the pouch there. It flips over. I've used one of the Tim Holtz binder rings um, here just to hold these two pages in. And that's the small one. So on the back of this um, page I've made a place for business cards, tickets and again like I did on the front page I've just cut slots and then backed it with the paper here from the collection and that just makes pockets to poke things in. And so there's a tag here and a photograph, a stamp and a prescription card. Those, oh, that one is an artistic outpost stamp. And then to finish the page off, I've popped out one of the elements from the back of the paper collection and then just attached two of the staple pins, um, the Graphic 45 staple pins down here, just to finish it off. And then put a tab up here to make it easy to flip the page over. And then moving it across this page, again I've made a pocket and used the same Martha, pun Martha Stewart punch just to edge it and then decorated it with um, a piece of the paper from the collection. It was a piece left over from the front cover. The cream circle here was from the inside of the cream frame that I cut out on the front and I've used one of the Marianne Creatable um, Vintage Lady cutouts here just to finish that oval off and make it look like a cameo and then cut out the word vintage from the paper and glossy accent did over the letters just to shine them up and then I've made two tags that just slot inside the pocket one from the pens the paper collection mounted on some black card and then mounted on the stripy paper and then I've inked over and masked with one of the Tim Holtz masks and this one I've cut one of the ink bottles out and a pen, covered that with glossy accents and then set it behind a piece of um, music paper that wasn't from the collection and then just put a red button on the top here and backed it in black card. So those two just sit in there like that. And then flipping over, I've made a photo album. This is one of the cutouts from the paper and I've punched two holes in it, run it through my cuddle bug with an embossing folder and then mounted it on black card just to make the front of what looks like a photo album. The ribbon I've used is just um, stocking coloured ribbon. I thought that went with the era. And then I've just inked up some pages and just stamped them to make them look like um, a vintage photo album or little notebook. And then there's one photo mat that sits inside this pocket. And that's um, a cutaway with one of the Movers and Shapers ticket cuts and then um, a clock stamped behind to finish that one off and then there's just room for journaling on the back. The pocket itself um, is edged here with a Martha Stewart punch 
and again I've cut out um, the word communique from the paper and gone over the word with glossy accents I don't know if you can see that but it does shine and then just set a strip of postage stamps down the pocket to finish it off. The whole reinforcers I've cut out using the tiny tabs and tags die. It's one of the alterations, the Tim Holtz one. And then I go over those with glossy accents and it shines them up and just makes them uh, more robust and less likely to rip. And again, there's a tab on this page as well so it can be flipped over easily. So that's the correspondence in and bits and pieces to keep side of the correspondence case. And then on the other side, let's take all of these bits out. So you can see it better. I've made a notice board and I've used the um, staples pins, these lovely brass pins by Graphic 45, just to hold the ribbon through the holes, there's holes punched under each pin, and then attached it on the back before sticking the paper down to the cover. And then into it I've just poked all sorts of things that you would have on a notice board. Some lovely cutouts on the paper and um, this is one of the envelopes, the Graphic 45 envelopes. Let's poke that in under there. I love this picture. It says, hello, Liberty Calling, or Liberty Speaking. I think that's brilliant. So that had to go on the notice board. Um, there's a tag there from the back of the um, pad collection. So she can go in there. And then I've got two... Um, luggage labels stamped up again with the dark room door stamps but the collection that I used for those was let me tell you it's correspondence it's that one again really lovely and great stamps so there's just an ink pot there and then two um, pen nibs and then I've used one of the new Graphic 45 pegs, the brass pegs, just to hold those two tags together, and some Mayart's Baker twine, and those just poke behind the top like that. So that's the notice board, and then opening that up, I've attached a ribbon, it comes through the page underneath here, and then out from under here. This is the writing part of the correspondence case. So under here, I've literally just put um, the black paper down with the big C and the clock, and then cut a small hole here and threaded the ribbon through and secured it with black card and lots of sticky glue so that it doesn't rip. And then stuck one of the ink pots down here and then the paper pad again I've used the dark room door stamp and just stamped on here a quill pen and an ink pot and then there is a pen in here an ink pen to write with and then over here let's just take all of these bits back out This is like a postcard rack. So there's three or three pockets. I've used an inverted on the edge die. I think it's the black and postage die that I've used. Um, so I've used it the right way up here and then I've cut out a template and cut away to give the cutout top to each one of those pockets. Um, so the bits and pieces I've put in here uh, one of the envelope pockets from the Black Staples um, album. So that one just sits behind there. And then this is one of the Cream Staples album. 
one of the envelope pockets. So poke that one just in front there. And then I cut a postcard out and stamped it again with one of the artistic outpost stamps, that one is. Got postcard and postmark there. That one just sits under there. And then I've got some small envelopes, just a collection of small envelopes. And I've just bound them with a piece of the Staples ribbon and a button, just to hold them all together. And they slot in there like that. And then I've got an accounts page, again from the Artistic Outpost collection of stamps. And I've just inked and folded it make it look oldie worldy that's especially for Vincent if you're watching and this um, is again one of the staples envelopes the graphic 45 envelopes and that goes in there and then right at the bottom I made an envelope pocket again it's got um, a quarter inch um, folds at the side to lift it up a magnet under here under that button that just holds it closed and then just two cutouts from the paper exactly the same either side of the envelope top and then in there there's just a ticket embossed with one of the Tim Holtz the small embossing folders and that just slides down in there like that and that closes up and that's it that's the writing case or the correspondence case and then this folds up and the ribbon ties in a nice bow here can I do it? oh yeah put the stamps in just put the peg on and then the whole thing just closes over and then the button threads through the loop here can it go through? it should go through is designed to go through. That's it. And then let's get it straight. That just pulls up and just slides around the knob here and that holds it shut. And there it is. That's my correspondence case. I hope you've enjoyed watching that. It's a really useful project to make and um, thanks for watching.